First they took our bar, now they're taking our friendship. What's next, apple pie, fast cars, and action films? It was a glorious summer in Oxford when I met Freddie Cavendish, a most remarkable young man whose friendship will change my life forever. You are the anchor that gives my spirit license to soar. Come on, there's worse things in life than rain. Like, uh, like, like spiders. Oh, he's behind the door. <coughs> Peanut, he's bothering everyone. Say something. Say something, I'll kick his ass. Someone ought to kick his ass. Don't go in there. Peter. All right, all right, give me a Kleenex. I knew he was bad. I knew he... Ah! Uh, there's nothing these kids learn in school they can't learn on the street. It's 3 o'clock. Where the hell is Louie? Well, you tell me. Louie left his house at 2.15 and has to travel a distance of 6.2 miles at a rate of 5 miles per hour. What time will Louie arrive? Depends if he stops to see his hole. That's what we call a variable. Oh, come on, you're our best friend, Peter. Besides, I can remember a time when you saved all our butts. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah! yeah, too bad I didn't get there till after the shot of me. Hey, I'm your man. But I gotta warn you, I made some enemies on the hill. And that's when Clarence Thomas forced me into his chambers and showed me lewd pictures. <laughs> Mr. Griffin, we have indisputable evidence that not only have you never been in the same room as Clarence Thomas, you, you've never been in the same state. How do you respond to that? Bubba Booey, Bubba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, Bubba Booey, Bubba Booey, oh, Bubba Booey. Makes perfect sense, Lois. You know how much time I've spent on the ocean. Wilson! What are we gonna do now? Wilson! Wilson! My name is Voight, dumbass. Because if I blow this, I'm gonna have to go back to my old job at the electric company. Duh. At. Dot. Buh. Et. Bet. Bet. I, I knew that. Slow it down. Huh. It. Pit. Pit. Uh, come on, pal, it's my first day. Uh. At. Fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. <laughs> it was more boring than when I was a security guard for George Harrison. Charles in charge of our days and our nights. Charles in charge of our wrongs and our rights. And I see I want Charles in charge. Hey, 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 hey! Quiet down up there, you wacky beetle. Have the quick stretch first. Ooh, damn. Must have pulled something playing hoops last week. I know you're not putting that rock up from here. You ain't got no J. Yo, man, that's trippy. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you going to act? Sheesh. Bringing that trash in here? This is my house. You know, he's the spokesman for his entire industry. Though I must say, I've always dreamed of a life at sea. I'm the greatest captain of the Queen's Navy. And your record will stand as proof. Be it galleon or freighter, I'm an expert navigator. And you're also a world-class poof. My man of quite defeat is mistaken on the street for a sailor who can pirouette on cue. Well, despite your point of view, I can thrill a girl or two. But I'd rather get it on with you. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, as brothers and sisters fighting is as natural as a white man's dialogue in a Spike Lee movie. What's up? Can I get two slices of pepperoni? It's the most wonderful thing that could happen to this family. Hmm. Well, the Phillies won. Oh, man, they got these little plastic disc guns. Oh, I haven't seen one of these since Cleveland's wedding. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the joining of these two young people <laughs> in the bonds of holy matrimony <laughs> consecrated before God Almighty. <sighs> oh boy, do we have some good times. Here it comes, buddy! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Oh! What are the odds? Ah! Hey, look at this.
this, Lois? It's our pet rock. Ah, I remember the first day we brought it home. See that? Huh? Huh? Bad rock. Bad. We do that outside. Look at him. He knows what he did. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time you've disrupted a performance. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I didn't see it. It jumped right out in front of my car. Oh, I am so sorry. Wow, that's some nose you got. Yeah, one time it almost got me a spokesman deal. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I no, that that, that was good. I, I just I, I didn't think you were gonna go so cartoony with it. Well, how 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 would you read it? Oh, I I don't know. I was thinking of doing it, you know, good like like an actor. But you know, your your way's good too. Talk to me sometime, sweetheart. I know what it takes to be cool. She packed my bags last night, pre-flight. Zero hour. 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high. Has a kite by then. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. Rocket man burning out his fuse out here alone. And I think it's going to be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh, no, no, no I'm a rock-it man Rocket man Burning out his fuse out here Alone Oh, yeah that's the good stuff. Because a black knight is just a big jerk. Just like that guy who fixed our vacuum. There you go, all fixed. <laughs> Turns out a half-eaten meatball was clogging up the intake. Oh. Well, did you save it? Uh, no. You bastard. I dare say I should embrace the idea of having a little brother. After all, it's obvious we'd make quite a formidable team. Nothing bad ever happens when you're asleep. In fact, sometimes good things can happen. Oh, Jenny. Jenny. Oh, yeah, Jenny, don't stop. Oh, Richard, Jenny, your HBO comedy specials have brought pleasure to millions. And what a sweet ass. Pathetic my life is. I've, I've seen that behind the music with Leif Garrett 18 times. Hey, uh, hey, Leif. Uh, it's been a while. Too long, man. I'm so sorry about everything, man. I I'm so... Ready for a bombshell? You saved my life that night. But, but I was driving. I... I was on a road to destruction, man. The accident may have crippled me, but I'm alive, aren't I? Can, can we turn off the cameras, dude? I'm really cutting loose, just like Julie Andrews in that movie where she showed her breasts. Oh, Mary, you'll never leave us, will you? Yes, those are lovely, but it doesn't quite answer our question. What? Yeah, the new owners gave everyone raises. Even Kenneth, the badass mail clerk with the heart of gold. Hi, Kenneth. Hey, did I get any mail? No, and if you come any closer, I'll slice you. Okay, okay. Man, what a badass. Yeah, well, that badass just gave half his paycheck to orphans. Orphans with diseases. Peter, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I have a cousin who works at Club Med. Me mind on fire! Me soul on fire, feeling hot, hot, hot. Nigel's charming. All British men are. Yeah, right. That's what they said about Benjamin Disraeli. You don't even know who I am. Whoa, how'd you get that? 
I spent the night with Mr. Burler. Ah, oh, the sun's up. I'm safe for another night. Thanks, Meg. I missed the good old days when you were my sidekick. Uh, so she hated my tie until I told her it was made out of 100% Butterfuco fiber. Hey, uh, Brian, how about a little tie music? Peter's tie, Peter's tie, that's because Peter's the guy. All right, that's it, little tie music. <laughs> So, Peter, where should we go for your week off? Well, I, I was thinking we could all go to purgatory like we did last year. This isn't bad. It's not that good, but it's not that bad. It's so-so. Yeah, more or less. I just hope it goes okay. We've had some bad luck with dinner guests. You remember when Margot Kidder was here? Oh, we loved you in the Superman movies. You were just wonderful. <laughs> I've never been defeated, except once. Eric? Peter? Oh, my God! I haven't seen you since high school. <laughs> God, well, what are you doing these days? Uh, I'm the red guy. Oh, my God! <laughs> well, what are you doing? I'm, I'm the green guy. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got... Hey, is that Stacy Beecham? Where? I say, look at me. I feel like a regular grease monkey. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Oh, then, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? I certainly am not overreacting. What the devil do you think happened to Bobby when they added Cousin Oliver to the Brady Bunch? Oliver, did you break this vase? No, the floor did. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Hey, everybody, I... Bobby, you get back in the garage! No! No foul! Oh, that's a stupid call. And I know something about stupid calls. Uh, hello? Uh, Lois, I can't take out the garbage because I'm at the office and, and they're making me stay late. Peter, the caller ID says you're calling from the kitchen. In fact, I can see you. Can you see me now? No. Okay, now I'm at the office. I can't believe your father organized this. Usually he can't even handle simple tasks. Peter? Why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lois, he's done it again! Wait a minute. Ha! This is great. We haven't done anything together like this since we saw Mike Tyson get beat. All right, Mike. The word again is onomatopoeia. Uh, C. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, dang. Hey, since I became president, profits have been higher than Alyssa Milano. <laughs> What kind of cheap shot, Joel? I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm on it, I'm on it. Exactly what we need. Hey, wait a second. Didn't we just make a fat, stupid guy president? You bet we did. Gentlemen, our new tobacco lobbyist is that guy. Diamonds, daisies, snowflakes, that guy. Chestnuts, rainbows, springtime. Is that guy, he's tinsel on a tree. Geez, I haven't been to California since I lived with my other family. Guys, I just got invited to a party at Sharon Tate's house. And you guys can come, but you gotta promise not to embarrass me. Peter, I am not a sideshow attraction. At least not anymore. Me like it bouncy! Me like it bouncy! I was totally humiliated in school today.
Okay, we're gonna do a little informal survey here, kids. With those of you who are going away for spring break, please move to the left of the room. Oigan, quienes que van a spring break, pasen la izquierda, por favor. Wow, the business world sure is funny. Hey, Dilbert, what do you call it when a guy in middle management moves all the way to upper management? I don't know. What do you call it? A promotion. Oh, thanks. Here's a memo. Well, sometimes the business world's funny. Talking about, I'm better than him at everything. You name it, sports, video games, even magic tricks. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. Bastards turned a whole generation of Americans into smokers with their damn subliminal advertising. Timmy, where's Lassie? She's out in the orchard, Ma. Peaches are coming in mighty early this year. Smoke. You know what they say, Timmy. Early peaches, long summer. Smoke. What's that, Lassie? Are you smoking yet? I hope he doesn't wait and get your gift at the last minute again. My goodness, a human thumb. Why did you ever find this? It was on eBay. <laughs> oh, God, call an ambulance. Don't you worry, Lois. I'll set him straight, just like I did with Chris. Dad, what's the blowhole for? I'll tell you what it's not for, son. And when I do, you'll understand why I can never go back to SeaWorld. Well, I guess it couldn't be worse than last year when we all went to SeaWorld. <laughs> and how long has this been going on? Oh, wow. Imagine me, president. How'd you get these blueprints? Oh, your mother has her ways. She has her ways. Can I have the blueprints to the D'Amico house? Sure, here you go. Oh, yes, I've often fantasized about what this house would be like with more culture. The port is quite good. Yes, quite good. Indeed. Most certainly. What year is it? 51. Ah. Delectable. Indeed. Yes. Oh, dear. What is it? I've spontaneously combusted. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it's quite all right. I've grown tired of living. Ah, very good, then. For the mess. Yes, indeed. Oh, is it raining again? I've never gotten that kind of respect before. Great workout, Bobby. Up your sack breath. That's Mr. Griffin. Come on, Lois. When have I not been there for you? Get out of the damn car! Now! Screaming you're dead. Thanks for the ride, lady. Yeah, this is gonna be even more exciting than when Brian taught me about Christopher Columbus. Where are we going, Brian? Well, Peter, we're going to visit the year 1492. That's when Columbus set sail on his famous voyage to the New World. Hey, we're on a ship! That's right, Peter. This is the Santa Maria, one of three ships Columbus took to find a direct route to India. Any sign of India yet, fellas? Nothing yet, Captain! India? But I thought Columbus was going to America. On the contrary, Peter, Columbus discovered America entirely by mistake. Wow! <laughs>